the very first thing that happens when you go um, to get a job as a dancer is you give away your name and they give you something, something different. And so for me, I went in as Stephanie and they renamed me as Carmen. I didn't even pick my name because I was not aware that, that stage names existed because I'd never been in a club before. And so it didn't, it took a, a while for me to understand the significance of that because I was just so um, willing to play the game, to, to follow the rules of, of this whole life that I'd never encountered before. And so I, I gave my name away. And but there's something really precious about the fact that we have a name that my mom looked at me when I was little and she named me Stephanie. And it's Stephanie with an F and it's different. And, and that means child of God, it means chosen one. And I don't know what Carmen means, but what it meant to me was everything opposite of who I was raised to be. And so that is what happens when you first walk in, is that you give away a very large piece of your identity. And you know, initially, when someone would call out Carmen, it was hard for me to answer because I wasn't used to it. And it didn't take a very long time to respond easy, more easily to Carmen than I responded to my own name of Stephanie. And that's kind of just the slow fade of of losing yourself and you know admittedly when I first began to work there I had been in that abusive situation before where I was very out of control and I felt worthless and unattractive and so initially there is something intoxicating about working in a club and I did feel in the beginning powerful because you can in my mind at the time was I can get someone to my stage and I can um, make money and I'm pretty good at this and this is an okay thing. But it doesn't take a whole lot longer, maybe around six months to understand that, that it is demeaning and humiliating and it's sex abuse. It's um, abuse of every kind, really, emotional and verbal and physical. and. Um, it's humiliating and degrading and um, you know they say that there are rules that there are boundaries and they that they'll protect you and I never felt protected there because people can bite you and grab you and slap you and call you whatever they want to call you and you keep smiling and you keep taking it because if I thought I was nothing when I first walked into a strip club having been in there just a little bit of time I really, really believed I was nothing. And regardless of how much or how little money I made, I didn't believe that I was anything of value anymore.